Our first scripture reading this morning is a paraphrase from Eugene Peterson's The Message, comes from Leviticus 19, verses 1 through 2 and 9 through 18. God spoke to Moses. Speak to the congregation of Israel. Tell them, be holy, because I, God, your God, am holy. When you harvest your land, don't harvest right up to the edges of your field or gather the gleanings from the harvest. Don't strip your vineyard bare or go back and pick up the fallen grapes. Leave them for the poor and the foreigner. I am God, your God. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't deceive anyone. Don't swear falsely using my name, violating the name of your God. I am God. Don't exploit your friend or rob him. Don't hold back the wages of a hired hand overnight. Don't curse the deaf. Don't put something in front of the blind. Fear your God. I am God. Don't pervert justice. Don't show favoritism to either the poor or the great. Judge on the basis of what is right. Don't spread gossip and rumors. Don't stand by when your neighbor's life is in danger. I am God. Don't secretly hate your neighbor. If you have something against him, get it out into the open. Otherwise, you are an accomplice in his guilt. Don't seek revenge or carry a grudge against any of your people. Love your neighbor as yourself. I am God. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. And our gospel reading this morning comes from Matthew 5, verses 38 through 48. Let us listen to the word of God to us this morning. Here's another old saying that deserves a second look. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Is that going to get us anywhere? Here's what I propose. Don't hit back at all. If anyone strikes you, stand there and take it. If someone drags you into court and sues for the shirt off your back, gift wrap your best coat and make a present of it. And if someone takes unfair advantage of you, use the occasion to practice the servant life. No more tit-for-tat stuff. Live generously. You're familiar with the old written law, love your friend, and its unwritten companion, hate your enemy. I'm challenging that. I'm telling you to love your enemies. Let them bring out the best in you, not the worst. When someone gives you a hard time, respond with the energies of prayer, for then you are working out of your true selves, your God-created selves. This is what God does. God gives God's best, the sun to warm and the rain to nourish, to everyone, regardless, the good and bad, the nice and nasty. If all you do is love the lovable, do you expect a bonus? Anybody can do that. If you simply say hello to those who greet you, do you expect a medal? Any run-of-the-mill sinner does that. In a word, what I'm saying is grow up. Your kingdom subjects. Now live like it. Live out your God-created identity. Live generously and graciously toward others the way God lives toward you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. 